Hi, Hiram here. In the past I've done several reviews of camping stoves that I bought on eBay and lately I've gotten a bunch of requests to do a review on this stove that's on eBay. I think they called it the Venom Super Stove basically because it's made out of a Venom Energy Can. Let's see, can you see it there? The Venom Energy is uh, an aluminum uses an aluminum bottle pretty much like the Bud Light ones but it's a bit larger diameter so it makes for a nice stove nice nice can to work with I'd use it more but I end up having to buy these they're in our area they're two dollars each I can't find anybody that drinks the stuff but anyway uh, they use a can from that <clears throat> and it's basically a gas jet stove you know the ones where you force the uh, outside to the inside but then they cut the bottom off you can see it here after they forced it back in itself and made one of the gas jet stoves they cut the bottom part off to expose that inner ring if you want to see a video that a really good video that shows how to make the ultimate stove out of these bottles you can either go to my favorites list and click on uh, the ultimate alcohol stove or use the link that will be in the text for this review anyway <clears throat> it, the on eBay it comes with the stove a four ounce bottle to put your alcohol in doesn't come with the alcohol that's mine and it comes with a small measuring cup that's supposed to help you on putting the alcohol in and it also comes with instructions which I'm not sure, I mean nice instructions but I'm not sure if they're for this stove because there's a couple of things that aren't right it says that this uh, measuring cup is supposed to have a concave cut in it to make it go up against the stove easier this doesn't have it I burned this stove what this would be my fifth test my suggestion with a cup is throw it out and just use the bottle also it said that this stove can be used with uh, oil like from an oil lamp but you end up having to cut this down a little bit for some reason and there's supposed to be a line on the inside that you can take a pair of scissors and cut this stuff good luck with that but there's no line so I'm not sure what the deal is there says you can use kerosene or white gas but basically it's the ultimate stove <clears throat> the gas jet stove where they cut off the bottom and then I don't know if you can see it but they pushed that uh, muffler wrap down in the cavity here you know this stuff that I've used exhaust wrap now the stuff I have is only about an inch I'm hoping that they have bigger pieces here and that it goes all the way to the bottom not sure so your best bet for putting the alcohol in is to tilt the stove a little bit and bring your bottle up right to the edge and then just pour it in what I'm going to do here is break now for a minute and I'm going to fill this accurately so that I can get one fluid ounce of alcohol in it I'll be right back okay I put one fluid ounce of alcohol in this now using just the bottle that it came with rather than that cup let's put the I'm going to use the Heine pot that seems to be the pot that this was designed for if there's an interest I'll do it again using my standard Boy Scout pot to see what a larger flat pot does on this oh, I need new matches there we go Start that up. Can you see it there? And let's start the timer and see where this goes. There we have two ten. 11 to 12 at 8:56 minutes 
That was two cups of water starting at about 60 degrees. I'll have to go back and look on the video, but I think it was 60. Two cups got to boiling in 8 minutes and 56 seconds. That's within a range of, let's say, 20, 30 seconds of the other tests that I've done. Let's see how long it goes now to boil, to uh, burn out. Okay, and there's just about burnout. It's going, going, not giving up the ghost yet. There it went out, let's say at 17.50, 17 minutes and 50 seconds to burn out. So, not the fastest stove that I've ever used, but you know, I'm not sure if it's because of, well one thing is, I don't know if I said it, from the bottom of the hiney pot to the top of the burner, in this one, there's only about three-eighths of a space, three-eighths in inch of a space, not the normal one inch. That seems to be the sweet spot, so that could be part of it. Uh, I'd have to see what happens with this using my standard pot, the Boy Scout pot. It's, you know, the, the pot would still fit on there, and it would give more space for the flames to fan out on the pot but it'd still be a little tight. So if there's interest in that, I'll give it a try. Also, that was with one fluid ounce. It got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to boiling in 8 minutes and 56 seconds. And then continued to burn until 17 minutes 50 seconds. So the one fluid ounce is obviously way too much alcohol uh, if all you wanted to do was boil two cups of water. There's no simmering or anything on this. I'm not sure Not sure how what you could do to make a simmer ring on this might be interesting, but uh, maybe I'll try it again with a half a fluid ounce instead of the full fluid ounce. Also, it would be interesting to see how the ultimate stove would compare uh, burn times and boil times to this. Like I said, this is basically <clears throat> an alcohol jet stove except that after they force the outside down in and it bottoms out then they just cut off the bottom to expose this for a pot stand and then stuffed it with uh, the exhaust wrap, muffler wrap. So I hope that satisfies, helps the people that requested this one. As always I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, your helpful suggestions and watch for my buddy Max Bye now.